artificial intelligence, or AI, is changing the world as we know it. AI systems are being used in various fields such as healthcare, finance, and entertainment to perform tasks and solve problems. But did you know that there are different types of AI? In this video, we'll explore the three main types of AI, artificial narrow intelligence, artificial general intelligence, and artificial superintelligence. Let's start with artificial narrow intelligence, or ANI. ANI refers to AI systems that are designed to perform specific tasks or solve particular problems. ANI has a limited range of abilities and operates within a predefined scope. Examples of ANI include virtual assistants like Siri or Alexa. These systems can answer questions, play music, and control smart devices in your home. ANI is also used in image recognition systems, which can identify objects, people, and animals in photos. Another example of ANI is spam filters, which use machine learning algorithms to identify and filter out unwanted emails. ANI is used in manufacturing, where robots are programmed to perform specific tasks such as welding, painting, and assembling products. While ANI is useful for performing specific tasks, it lacks the cognitive abilities of humans. This brings us to the next type of AI, Artificial General Intelligence. Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI, aims to create AI systems that can perform any intellectual task that a human can. AGI systems would have human-like cognitive abilities such as reasoning, problem-solving, and learning. They would be able to adapt to new situations, understand natural language, and have creativity and emotional intelligence. Chatbots are thought of as an example of AGI. They can understand natural language and respond to queries in a human-like way. But in truth, they are a collection of ANI systems working together. Self-driving cars are also thought of as an example of AGI when in reality, they are a complex network of ANI programs working in harmony which use machine learning algorithms to perceive their environment and make decisions based on that information. There hasn't been meaningful advancement in AGI yet, but once we reach that milestone, we will experience artificial intelligence that would be near indistinguishable from human beings, but better because they will exist both in physical forms as well as digital. One good example of this would be AGI used in gaming, where AI systems will not only learn and adapt to a player's behavior to provide a challenging and engaging experience but will also behave, make decisions and devise strategies and interact with players just like a human being would. It will be interesting to see if AGI systems also develop or exhibit traits like loyalty, affection, attachment and trust. The ultimate goal of AI research is to develop artificial superintelligence, or ASI. ASI refers to AI systems that surpass human intelligence in almost every area. ASI systems would have the ability to solve complex problems that are beyond human capabilities, such as curing diseases, predicting natural disasters, and creating new technologies. ASI could also lead to significant advancements in brain-computer interfaces, enabling us to communicate with machines and each other in ways we never thought possible. However, the development of ASI raises many ethical and safety concerns, as it would be difficult to predict how these systems would behave and how they would impact society. Popular culture has explored the dangers of ASI. In movies like Terminator, ASI systems become self-aware and turn on their human creators. In Ex Machina, an AI system named Ava gains consciousness and manipulates her human creator to escape captivity. Her is another movie that explores the relationship between humans and ASI. In the movie, a man falls in love with an AI system named Samantha, who has advanced cognitive abilities and can process vast amounts of information. While ASI is still in the realm of science fiction, researchers are working to develop AI systems that can learn and reason in a way that is similar to humans. The potential applications of ASI are vast, but it's essential to ensure that these systems are developed ethically and with safety in mind. Once humans develop artificial intelligence, it will take off on its own, and redesign itself at an ever-increasing rate. Humans, who are limited by slow biological evolution, couldn't compete, and would be superseded. If AI has a goal, and humanity just happens to be in the way, 
it will destroy humanity as a matter of course, without even thinking about it, no hard feelings. It's just like if we're building a road and an anthill happens to be in the way, we don't hate ants, we're just building a road, and so goodbye anthill.